These orange fluorescent lines here are sodalite veins. Brine moving through the rock at high temperatures tells me that rare earth elements are nearby, the things that go into electric vehicle motors. Justin, the Ontario government put out an exploration grant program to try and spurn critical metal discovery. Yeah. Does Hecla Kilmer align? Absolutely. I think I was one of the first people to apply for that grant. It's called the Ontario Junior Exploration Program. And we got funding right away, $200,000 in the bank. I applied for a second round. They actually uh, they didn't give it to us right away because we were so keen and got that first one so quickly. They've since expanded the funding, and we were the first on the list to get that second batch, another $200,000 coming into the bank, to support our exploration, to make sure that this happens in Ontario so that it can join that supply mm -hmm. chain yeah. and build the electric vehicles that I'm sure will be planned to be built yeah. in Sarnia, in Windsor, you name it, just some, down the road. Some people watching this might have heard of, on the federal government side, I believe about $3.2 billion in the April federal budget towards a critical metal strategy. And one of the things I talk a lot about is the R&D at the front end of that, the research and development, which is what exploration is. And most of that money in the federal budget is about downstream plants in places like Sudbury and Sarnia. But this is about the raw material supply for those bigger grandiose ideas around downstream industries. Is that fair? Yeah, absolutely. And I think a lot of the, the value add in the Canadian economy comes from manufacturing, from raw materials to uh, finished products. Mm -hmm. You just add a lot more value that way on a per capita basis. But mining has always been the backbone of Canadian economy. Natural resources like timber, electricity, mm -hmm. and especially minerals coming out of the ground this is the what the country was built on so it makes perfect sense that we're out here in northern ontario finding the types of minerals that we need to create that value add for the canadian mm -hmm. economy you don't build electric vehicles in canada or in north america without extracting them here first